and welcome to Times Square. I'm Tom Harris, president of the Times Square Alliance, and I'm thrilled to welcome you here today in Times Square to unveil the latest public artwork, Hot Dog in the City, brought to you by Times Square Arts. Times Square has always been a place for the biggest, the brightest, and the most spectacular productions, expressions, and digital display, displays the world has ever seen. So welcoming the world's largest and most dynamic hot dog in Times Square makes perfect sense. This project will only raise the bar in Times Square on larger than life spectacles and unforgettable experiences. People may ask why we do this. I was talking to one of the reporters before and he said when I turned the corner and I saw the hot dog, it made me smile. And we all need to smile a little bit more. That's why we do this. Thank you to Jen Catrone and Paul Outlaw for this outrageous idea and pulling it together so spectacularly. Thank you to the Times Square Arts team, Gene Cooney, Liam Archer, Christina Daniels, for always bringing these incredible ideas to the Alliance and making Times Square an increasingly iconic place for public art and never letting me say no to these crazy art productions. I encourage you all to relish this programming and the team that the team has put together over the next six weeks. Before we get there, I'll pass it over to the experts, starting with Gene Cooney, director of Times Square Arts. All right, thank you, Tom, and thank you to everyone for coming out to celebrate Hot Dog in the City. The world's largest hot dog sculpture is here in Times Square, thanks to the brilliant artist duo, I can't look at you guys, because it's too sweet, <laughs> Jen, Catherine, and Paul Outlaw. It's an artwork that I, quite frankly, can't imagine anywhere else but Times Square. Bear with us, because there's more hot dog puns coming in all of these speeches. At 65 feet long, complete with ceremonious hydraulics and daily bursts of confetti, the supersized, iconic, New York City-style hot dog is equal parts spectacle, celebration, and critique. The installation will also anchor a full plate of serious talks, playful performances, and political debate that examine consumption, capitalism, and class in our contemporary culture. And it's truly incredible how many critical issues are packed just beneath the skin of this humble handheld sausage. It's also amazing how passionate a conversation about hot dogs can get and how quick people are to talk about them. From the friend who told me she's not coming within 100 feet of this hot dog if there's relish on it, to the parent I was talking about or talking to the other day admitting confusion as to why their kids were team ketchup because they thought they were raising a pro-mustard household. Through Jen and Paul, the hot dog becomes a low-stake exercise on how to hold conflicting views and respectfully disagree. And as artists and as people, Jen and Paul are quite possibly the most hardworking, hilarious, and brilliant artists I know. <laughs> it has been such a pleasure to work with you on this project and you are such a perfect match for Times Square, in part for their irreverent humor and obsession with American culture, but mostly for their ability to subvert expectations and engage you in a critical conversation after luring you in with familiar forms, spectacle, and scale. Their work is always a funhouse mirror of sorts, reflecting a distorted image of ourselves that emphasizes both the grotesque and the absurd, <laughs> and what better space for them to hold up that mirror than Times Square. I'm going to pass the mic over to Mohamed Atia, Street Vendors Project. He's a programming partner with us on this project, and he can provide a slightly different context around what this can signify. But first, I just want to say thank you to our Times Square Alliance team, specifically our Assistant Director, Christina Daniels, 
and our project manager, Liam Archer, um, both of whom, are, their tireless efforts made this project possible. I also want to thank our colleagues in communications, in partnerships, and especially in operations and sanitation, without whom a 65-foot-long animatronic confetti-spewing hot dog sculpture would be possible. I'll turn it over to Mohammed. Thanks so much, Ian. Thank you all for being here. Uh, can we please give it up one more time for the Times Square Alliance? Come on, people. You'll get a 65-foot hot dog every day, right? Uh, my name is Mohamed Ateya. I'm the managing director of the Sheep Vendor Project. And I am a former hot dog vendor. I sold hot dogs here in Times Square for five years, between 2010 and 2014. So if you ever passed in Times Square around that time, you probably purchased a hot dog for me. I was right by the Hard Rock Cafe, I never miss a round. Uh, first, I wanna thank the Times Square Alliance, the amazing team, the artists, Jen and Paul, and everyone who's involved with this amazing project. I wanna share with you like a little story. Uh, about 15 years ago, when I started working as a food vendor, I was told that there are businesses that are based on one item and one item only. And that item was the hot dog. I couldn't believe it when I heard it until I took the subway and I got off the Times Square subway station and I walked around Times Square to see dozens of food carts that are designed to only sell hot dogs with a little bit of other items like you know cold drinks or pretzels but the main dish, the main item people are serving is the hot dog. That's how embedded the hot dog is in the American culture. You have thousands of people eating hot dogs every single day people who go to it as the go-to snack. You have so many tourists who come here with a very long list of to-do lists, right? We wanna do this in Times Square, we wanna go to the Broadway shows, and we wanna eat hot dogs, so it's a really important way to check that box and make sure they try the iconic New York hot dog. And of course, hundreds of food vendors actually make a living and thrive in our city selling this iconic snack. So I want you all to enjoy the art, enjoy the culture, enjoy what's happening in Times Square. And of course, go meet the food vendors. Go meet the hot dog vendors. Purchase their delicious hot dog that you can have in a dozen different flavors, depending on what you want to add on it. And say hello to everyone and get to know their stories. And thank you all for having me. Hello, hello, New York. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank, thank you, Gene. I, I didn't think I was going to cry at a, at a 65 foot hot dog, but we're, we're, we're borderline here, so thank you very much. Hello. Beautiful words. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mohammed. That, that really anchors a lot of what this piece is about. I mean, it's a story of America, but it's also an immigrant experience. And, and this is, I mean, this is, this is what the hot dog is in New York City. So thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, when we first started Conceive of this project, we had so many floating ideas, yet we always kind of returned to the hot dog, and we were trying to figure out, like, I mean, of course, it's like a New York City icon, it's a Times Square icon, and it really is just an American icon as well. Um, and we started to dive into the history of the hot dog, and it's just a mashed up conglomerate of processed meat um, that mirrors America itself. Um, it revealed itself to be a Trojan horse of so many different critical issues. Um, it's a portrait of America and all of its absurd, problematic, processed chunks and unknown parts posing as one. Um, as, as it turns out, it's uh, a hot dog is, is more than just a hot dog. We, we hope we hope that you can take a little bit of that way with you with you as well. Uh, what what it means, what what it can be, what it what it what it uh, it means to us as artists. Uh, well, we're thrilled to be standing here at the foot of this piece after many months of exhaustion, especially, especially with my wife, uh, who's who's about about nine months pregnant, uh, creating this hot dog tirelessly throughout the entire process. Uh, uh, but every now and then, you find an organization who supports some wild ideas. Uh, this is one of them, uh, who's truly dedicated to the arts, and we absolutely found that in Times Square Alliance uh, at the Times Square Arts. We, uh, we thank you guys so much. We want to thank Gene Cooney for hearing all of our crazy ideas uh, uh, and your continued support through all of them, uh, making this a, a, a turning this into a real object and a real a real life uh, a centerpiece for Times Square. Uh, 
We'd like to thank Tom Harris for being such a supporter through all of this, uh, also allowing us to have uh, have some crazy ideas and not not kicking us out of the boardroom immediately uh, and hearing what we had to say uh, and seeing seeing the vision and understanding what we're looking for. Uh, we'd like to, uh, uh, Damian San Santucci, thank you for all of your help. Uh, Christina Daniels, Liam Archer, you guys have been fantastic to work with, making this all a possibility. Uh, special thanks to the public safety team and the sanitation department. Uh, we apologize for all the confetti you're about to see over the next six weeks. Uh, We'd also like to thank uh, uh, my, my factory, NYC, uh, my, my, my people that I work with every day, uh, Jen works with every day. Thank you for all of your hard work, dedication, enthusiasm, uh, and expertise in making this a possibility. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Tremendous, uh, who helped us uh, with the creation of this hot dog, as well as Mark Hager, and, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Stronghold Arts, who was a huge help in us making this, making this animatronic hot dog uh, uh, something that can exist in reality, from drawing board to, uh, to, to, to right here in the middle of, of, of the square. Uh, I, sorry, so many thank yous. There are just so many people who helped us. Uh, Jenna and Lana, our studio team, who offered more than their creativity to this. Um, for everyone involved in our events, as you know, we have a full roster of events coming up. Uh, so we want to thank Street Vending Project, uh, Choco, EWA, Nathan's, Museum of the Dog, Town Hall, Infinite Wave. Um, we truly have a, a, a true community of support, and we are just so grateful for that. And uh, I guess, I guess, without further ado, uh, New York City, if, if you're ready, this is Frank. If you're ready, that's right. Our operator's name is Frank. And Stephanie Faye, th thank you, the ASL interpreter. Thank you so much uh, for, for, for interpreting our words for us. Um, well, New York City, uh, you, you, you deserve this sculpture. This is the sculpture <laughs> that we have made for you, and we love you very much.